Well, me and Mariah over here at the railroad. Me and Mariah's over here at the railroad and they got us blocked in. We can't get our mowers out away from these trains. They, they blocked our, our exit. So we're sitting here waiting for them to move the trains. It's happened to me before and usually uh, with only one mower and the other person will bring the truck around and pick somebody up. But today we're both blocked over here. I'll tell you what I mean. See? That's the train. Down there sits Mariah. Can you see her? Oh, there she is. They've stopped again. We've been over here probably, uh, probably been waiting about five, ten minutes because we we was mowing the other side of the track. But our truck and everything is on the other side of that train. And that train, those trains are, I don't know how long they are, but they're very, very long. And the depot that where they fix them at is down there. And so when they start operating these trains, and going in and out. This may be blocked all day. Now it's just moving again, it's backing up. Never know what these guys are gonna do. So, uh, we'll just see how long we stay here and wait. Mariah's driving over this way, I guess she's wondering what to do. Oh, she wanted to find some shade. Here she comes. Where is she? Now it looks like she's going to sit there and wait. There she sits. Well, it's noon right now. We'll see how long we have to wait. So I'm gonna go over there and make my eye real happy. I went to the truck when I went under them tunnels and got her phone. I wanna make her happy. She can't be without her phone sitting around. Well, I contacted. <coughs> it's 220 right now. I contacted someone about how long it might be before we get out of here. They said to my engines, they got some engines on the other side of the track. They got to leave. And he said, it'll be shortly. And I said, what's shortly? Is that an hour or 30 minutes? And he said, probably about 15 minutes. So we'll see. It's 12.20 right now. So we'll see how long we we'll wait here. But Mariah's got her phone. So she's all happy. She could sit here all day long, couldn't you, babe? No. Got her phone. What happens is, I don't know if they're connecting another unit down there or what, another car, but it keeps going back and forth, back and forth, like they're backing up, picking something up, and then going forward. So I don't know how how that works. Every time they get to stopping, you hear a real, a real loud bang. Oh, I see the end of it right there. Look. All right, guys, we're going to skedaddle and see if we can get out of here. I see the up there it is. Let's get out of here, honey. Well, good thing we got out of there in a hurry. As soon as we crossed the track, as soon as we crossed the track, they blocked it again. And you can't just jump over those railroad tracks. I mean, they're high.
We're going to go visit some friends tomorrow. And whoever guessed, the first one that guessed who we're going to go visit, we're sending them a gift card. So you all start guessing. Well, you all know of many times I show you bad tires that went flat. This tire here ain't went flat because it's bad. It bubbled all out. So go figure. Look at that. Big old bubbles. Not quite flat, but it's running rough. Hello, guys. Y'all gonna sit there and just let me video you? Videotape you? Wow, you're big. Guys, those things are big. They're massive. You see that post? That's a regular 4 by 4 post. Look how big they are. They're massive. Nice place they're at. Well, seeing things like that is another benefit about being out here all every day. Doing lawn care. While well, I was changing my flat, I looked down there and seen them. Y'all see them down there? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Don't see swans very often.